basically just sitting and this is what happens I know a lot of guys know this stuff but there's a lot of guys that don't that are just getting into this kind of thing camping they see somebody doing this stuff on YouTube they want to go out and do it and they might not have their vehicle set up for it they might not know what kind of tools to have with them or what to expect when they do get stuck modern vehicles are great they'll get you um, with the technology they have they'll get you a lot of places stock but they can get you in a lot of trouble too so just keep that in mind plan accordingly and those uh, recovery tools are not just pretty accessories you need to learn how to use them All right, here's a quick tip on how to get unstuck when you're buried in the snow. Actually, there's nothing quick about it. The only thing you can do is dig. When you notice that you're stuck in the snow and you're not making forward progress anymore, stop, get out, assess the situation, and improvise a plan. Because if you just keep spinning your tires, you're going to sink deeper and deeper and deeper. If you get down to the roadbed and you start seeing dirt and you're not making any progress, stop. All you're going to do is dig yourself down. The vehicle is just going to sink deeper and you're going to make your job uh, a lot harder than it needs to be. So here's my predicament that I'm in. Now, I've dug most of this out, but essentially what happened as I was trying to get through here and I almost made it and I'm hoping that side of the hill gets a lot more sun I was hoping I can go up the other side anyways um, it's a lot easier than coming in and this is generally how this happens it's real uh, sketchy over there and I was hoping I could go around and come up the top side but unfortunately this is a lot deeper than I thought right here and I'm trying to stay to the high side of the road where it is deeper, where it gets less sun, other than out here because it's a very steep slope and the, the gravity is going to want you to, to slide off the slope. In any case, what's happened is the vehicle sunk down and you can see I'm setting on my frame. Now I've dug most of this out and that's, that's all you can do. You just have to dig. You want to dig underneath the vehicle. It's not fun, you're gonna get wet. And that's why you should always have an emergency preparedness kit in your vehicle if you're out doing this kind of stuff. I'm soaking wet because I had to lay down to dig out from underneath my vehicle. Because just sitting here revving the engine, kicking rocks and snow and mud, all I'm doing is sinking down deeper, right? At some point, you're just gonna to have to get out and dig if you're, if you're stuck to where you're not making any progress. So I usually leave the vehicle running. Uh, the little bit of heat might help soften up the snow a little bit. This is very, very heavy, dense, waterlogged snow. And the weight of the vehicle has compressed the snow and it's like digging concrete. But essentially you won't move it with the vehicle. So yeah, you just gotta get underneath and dig. Dig, dig, dig. And you wanna be very careful around the underside of the vehicle. It's very easy to tear one of your CV boots or uh, your grease, grease boots or any of the other things that are underneath here. See, there's the CV boot right there. Got some steering stuff down here, so be a little careful when you're whacking away with your shovel. But you, you need to dig as much of the snow out from underneath here so the vehicle can actually rest on solid ground and you can get out from underneath here. If you can't get up here against the truck, dig out from underneath it and let it collapse down. Then what you need to do is you need to come in here and there absolutely cannot be anything in front of the tire. An inch and a half of compacted, this compacted wet snow is all it takes with the resistance of the snow on the undercarriage to keep you from making forward progress. Now once you get all this dug out, what you want to do is dig out the road a little bit if you can and then what what you want to do is lay logs small logs you don't want to be trying to four by four over these but you want to lay them in the snow 
so that once you get up and out, one, it'll elevate you above what you're setting on if you can get onto them, and it'll it'll form a lattice for you to drive out of. And you can see I don't have far to go before the snow thins out. Now, see here where I was dragging bottom. Hopefully that'll come out on the camera. You can see where my differential and the undercarriage was dragging a little bit. It would be probably wise to come out here and it sucks and it takes time. But there's no point digging yourself out back here and then driving two feet and getting stuck here. Now, you might be able to get away with leaving the snow in the ruts because that'll give you elevation. Put a couple sticks in there, things like that, but just uh, take the top couple inches off with your shovel to give you a little more ground clearance. And again, basically the same side, same same thing going on on this side. That's harder to dig on the uphill side, but I still need to get in here and dig a bunch of this out. And I don't have a lot of room to work with the shovel, so what I'll do is I'll dig up underneath here. So, all right, I'm gonna get back to work. I gotta get back to camp. I'll, I'll uh, get back to you when I get out of here. We made it. Now we gotta get back without sliding off the hill. Alright, so there you go, that's how you get out. Get unstuck or unburied from uh from uh being stuck in the snow. It's a lot of work, but I, I've come across vehicles where people have just given up and honestly you kind of need a lot of fortitude if you're going to be doing this kind of stuff in these conditions. Um, it seems nice and warm and nice out, but if you come across snow like this, it's really easy to get really stuck because your vehicle can stay on top of it for a while until it doesn't, and then you're stuck. But it probably took me about an hour to get out of here, and I am, I'm tired, and I'm hungry, and I'm wet, but I got out. My vehicle's safe. I'm relatively safe. Um, it just took a little bit of a little bit of work, and you need to plan for it accordingly. Always have recovery gear with you. Always have um, a spare set of clothes. You know your, your your usual things that you should have with you when you're out doing this kind of stuff. And uh, another important thing is to uh, tell somebody where you're going. That way, if you don't come back, somebody can go out looking for you if you're way out in the middle of nowhere or if something really bad should happen if you get hurt but anyways all right guys stay safe practice your skills leave a comment leave a suggestion constructive criticism is always welcome that's how we learn until next time see ya